Hello everyone, uh, well I think we are nearly finished now with the exercise number uh, yeah, 11 and in this last video I would like to show you how to create a totally new layer out of an existing layer by using not only the not the clip function but using the data export in this exercise number 11d we there are only two layers available um, as we have produced the least number F feature uh, which has a physical file behind that that is stored in our geodatabase and uh, this is called L LSF it's a simple polygon and we have the go shark nests let me show you just what is the problem here in this case so by adjusting the streams least number F so the streams are only within the least number F um, the company we are potentially working for uh, would like to um, cut the trees around or in the least number F but they are not, uh, not allowed to cut the trees around the streams and not in the near in the near surrounding of the Goshawk Gosh Goshawk nests? I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. So what we would like to do is we would like to create a selection and by using the um, export function data export data we would like to create a, a new feature set or a new feature file just with the Go, uh, go sock nests that are in our layer. So first of all go to selection and choose select by location because we are not really or we cannot say uh, easily whether this go sock nest well in this in this view now we can we can decide that it's inside but if you're zooming a little bit out to see all the nests you cannot uh, say that directly. So what we would like to do is we would like to select features from Gosok nests that are in the least F um, layer feature. So we will stick with target layers feature intersect the source layer feature and we will click on OK. Now only four of our um, normally I think 12 or something like that nests are selected and by right clicking on nests and go to data you can export the data and you can decide whether to export all features which is common useful or which is um, sometimes useful or you would like to create only selected features we will stick with the layer source data and we will store the information in our geodatabase in the my data folder and it's stored as export oh no um, nests maybe called lease underscore f dot shp shape file let's save that file say okay yeah I would like to add that automatically here to my view and as you can see what we have a little problem here at the moment because our common really nice symbol is lost so what we will use is double click on it and I think we need to search for our environmental maybe on mask symbol so there are a lot of possibilities and now I have to sneak around in the book to open that directly so yeah well it is much easier than it looks like so just double click on it go to symbology and import the drawing symbol uh, from the layer ghost hog nests click on OK once more on OK and you will have the same representation on your map as it was in the source data field so now we can easily create a map out of it which is which may be uh, called 
ghost hawk nests in Lee's ID number F or something like that. So, stay tuned for exercise number 12. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.